So far, we've looked at multiplying and dividing one-step equations with whole numbers. Now let's see what happens when fractions are involved. Let's start by looking at the problem. 3 fourths x is equal to 15. In this problem, we're dividing by 4, so we can get rid of that by multiplying each side of the equation by 4. Since as long as we do the same thing to both sides of the equation, the problem remains equal. So that would give us 3x is equal to 60. Now we can divide each side by 3, leaving us with x is equal to 20. So we could solve it that way, or we could solve the problem with just one step. We'll be using the multiplicative inverse property. That is, a number times its reciprocal is equal to 1. So the multiplicative inverse of 3 fourths is 4 thirds. So we'll multiply both sides of the equation by 4 thirds. On the left side of the equation, we'll be applying the multiplicative inverse property and get 1x. And on the right-hand side of the equation, we'll simplify the problem before multiplying. And when we multiply that out, we get 20. So x is equal to 20. So now it's your turn. Try negative 2 thirds x is equal to 2 fifteenths. The multiplicative inverse of negative 2 thirds is negative 3 halves. So we need to multiply each side of the equation by negative 3 halves. Applying our multiplicative inverse property, we get 1x is equal to 2 fifteenths times negative 3 over 2. Simplifying the fraction before we actually multiply will leave us with x is equal to negative 1 fifth. Now let's try the problem negative 7 halves is equal to 5 and 1 fourth. Well, we can't find the multiplicative inverse of a mixed number, so we need to write all the mixed numbers in the equation as fractions. Therefore, negative 7 and a half becomes negative 15 halves, and 5 and 1 fourth becomes 21 over 4. The multiplicative inverse, or the reciprocal, of negative 15 over 2 is negative 2 over 15. When we multiply both sides of the equation by negative 2 fifteenths, we get x is equal to negative 7 tenths. So how about if you try the problem 2 and a half x is equal to 25? The first thing we need to do is to write 2 and a half as a fraction. That would give us 5 halves. And we're going to change 25 to 25 over 1. Now we have 5 halves x is equal to 25 over 1. Multiply each side of the equation by the multiplicative inverse, which is 2 fifths. 25 times 2 fifths is equal to 10, so x is equal to 10. When we're multiplying by a fraction, all we need to do to solve the problem is to multiply by the reciprocal, also known as the multiplicative inverse. 